I get it off. I just I'm trying to figure it out. It's a good thing I can teach you. I'm Danny Hollins. Today we're gonna learn how to get unsnagged. So the first thing we're gonna go over is avoidance techniques. What can I do as the fisherman to avoid snagging on the bottom from the start? One of the most common things that I see happen while I'm guiding that ends up in a bad snag is walking down after the swing without stripping in any line. So, fly is swung all the way into the bank, or swing is over, and I see this. You know, people start trudging along, going downstream. All that does is it feeds the sink tip in your fly into the rocks. To avoid that, all we gotta do, if it swings in, strip the line in back to the shooting head, give it a little lift, and we can walk down, and look at that, fly didn't snag up. You do that on every swing, you're spending more time fishing, less time in the rocks, right at your feet. Another thing that we can do to avoid snagging on the bottom is with our actual cast itself. A lot of the times, I'll see people do this cast. Here we go, 45 degrees upstream, and it lands in a pile, and they do this, they give it a mend, and that's going to swing through, and it's going to snag on the bottom. The reason that is, is because we put it upstream, and the current didn't have an opportunity to pull the line through like a normal cast would, right? So we want to make sure that when we're making our casts, we're fishing 90 degrees or less. making sure that we're able for the line to get caught by the water and begin, begin its swing at a proper depth. Another extremely common snag that I see all the time is when you first get to a run, right? Us as guides, we love you to start short because the fish can be right in off the bank, but we want to make sure that our fly is fishing. You know, if, you, if we show up and we're trying to fish down this run like this, I see this a lot, you know? They go like this, they're casting it upstream, 120 degrees, and that just fires the fly right down to the bottom. There's no swing at all. And then next thing you know, you're, you're, boom, you're snagged up on the rocks. So to avoid that, when you start on that short line, you wanna be flipping it, just like we covered in the last segment, 90 degrees or downstream more. Because that allows this fly to fish through the water. And we're never gonna snag up when we do that. So you've done everything you can. You've done all those avoidance techniques that we went over. And guess what happened? We got ourselves a snag here. It's bound to happen when you're fishing. Um, so we want to make sure we can get this off without tromping down through the run that we're about to fish. The best way to do that is to do a couple different things. First, I like to do the old get tight to it and just pull. A lot of the times, it's just something wedged in a rock and it'll pop free. Right? You try to pull it free like this, it's not doing it. You, you're really snagged up in there. So the next thing we're going to try and do is typically you're going to give it slack and let the line float down below the snag. Uh, unfortunately, we're in a spot here where we don't have much current on the inside, so we can't do that technique. But what we can do, you get really tight. You want to get as tight as you can to it. I see this guys try and do this all the time without getting tight to it, and it doesn't work. You just pick it up and you throw it like this out towards the middle, it doesn't actually pick up that sink tip, which is most likely what is snagged on the rock. If you want to get really tight, strip some line off, wiggle it, throw it out through the middle of the river. Pull a little bit of line off to let that tip and your shooting head get below the snag. Take both hands and pinch the line, and you want to jerk hard through the middle of the river. A lot of the times, that's going to get your fly free of the snag. So I'll do that again. I'm going to be like this. Screw it up to the middle. Sometimes you have to do it more than once. I'm going to allow it, give it a few seconds to float down below. I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to get a good pull out towards the middle of the river. Then yeah. we're not free off the snag now. It happens all the time, even if you do that technique where you strip it in. We're in a challenging spot here, lots of slime, big rocks. So I have to take my time working down and it ends up in the rocks. Now, you can see we don't, we don't have any current here on the inside. 
So when I was talking about throwing it out and trying to float it down, we're not able to do that in the spot because we don't have that current right tight to the bank where my fly is snagged up. So we do the technique called the roll cast. I'm sure it sounds very familiar. It's exactly what you think it is, a roll cast. So you're snagged up like this. It works best if you have the whole head out. You walk up a ways so that you can, you know, have a little bit of slack. And you roll past, past the snag, let it settle, and it's work hard. And there we go. I just came off the snag that easily. I only had to walk down a couple steps. And now I can throw it back out there and start fishing. And I didn't tromp down through the inside where a fish could be sitting below us. Okay, so you just watched this video and you know we went over those avoidance techniques making sure we strip the line in before we start walking casting in 90 degrees or down not letting that fly mega sink down to the rocks and then i also went over the techniques the roll cast the floating it down and over the floating the throwing it out to the middle of the river and letting it float down all are great ways to help unsnag your fly uh, every snag is different though. Sometimes you're on wood, sometimes it's your sink tip. And so it's important that you try all of those techniques to try and get your fly off. Uh, I was just snagged up here and I tried floating it down and over and throwing it to the middle and I couldn't get it off. I tried those about three or four times, didn't work. And then I went to the roll cast and it popped off on the first attempt. So that's why it's very important you do try all of those techniques before you basically give up and you say, I'm gonna have to break this fly off or if it's close to the bank, you can walk right down there. It might, you know, injure the potential fishing of that section down there. But a fly, you know, sometimes people tie those or you purchase them, they're expensive, they take time, and you want to get that fly back. Basically, now you know, that's how you can get unsnagged by yourself. Uh, you're not going to need to call your guide down or your friend to come and give you a hand. And when you're out by yourself on the river, you're going to lose less flies. And at the end of the day, that's what we're all out here to do and have fun.